everybody. My name is Karthik and I'm one of the founders of Envision. Firstly, I want to thank everybody for joining us today for Envision's first ever town hall. So before I dive into all, all the great stuff that you know we have planned for you today, uh, I wanted to do, you know, for those of you all who are not familiar with the concept of what a town hall is, I wanted to start off with what is a town hall and why we're doing it and uh, you know how we're having today's setup uh, in place. So a town hall is an event. It's a way to share the current progress and the future updates, the roadmap uh, that we have planned for all the different services and products that Envision offers. Uh, and we plan to do this uh, starting today from uh, every for every quarter. It's every three months, we plan to come uh, on all these different platforms, meet you, talk to you about what's what we did in the past three months, what we have planned for the next uh, three months, and also, more importantly, hear your feedback. And we're doing this simply because we believe that you know everybody in the Envision community is an equal stakeholder in the process of creating Envision, and hence we need to. And hence we believe that you know when you share your opinion about how to build things or what things to build, uh, and your opinions about how things are going at Envision, it really benefits the community as a whole. And today's setup is really unique. You know, so we're doing this as a multi-platform event where everyone can participate. We're currently live now on Zoom, YouTube, Clubhouse, and Twitter Spaces. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a, a small walkthrough of what we did in the past three months, uh, talk to you about what we're gonna be focusing on for the next three months. And at the end of the whole uh, in, you know, session, you can also, we're also gonna open this up to questions from all these different platforms that we are, that we are live on at the moment. So um, I first want to start off with the apps, right? Um, and with the apps, I want to walk you through what we did the past three months and uh, walk you through what's going to come up next as well. So let's start off first with the Android app. On the Android app, uh, we started off in April with the redesign of the UI. So what we did was we brought down the navigation bar that was usually on the top to the bottom, making it a lot more easier for people who are using the app with talk back and with dynamic type, more easy uh, and, and more flexible for them to use it as well. And this also brings the UI in line with what we already have on iOS. The second thing that we launched uh, in the last three months is the new Envision It. Envision It is a feature that's extremely popular with all the users across both iOS and Android. And on Android, people used Envision It to share images from apps like WhatsApp or even share PDFs from outside the Envision app and then use the Envision app's powerful capabilities to read those documents out to you. And what we did with the new Envision It is to really take the best of both worlds, that is the Envision document reader and the Envision It extension and then bring it together in, in, in under one single app. So now you'd be able to share images or PDFs from outside Envision and that opens the Envision app and gives you all the powerful capabilities of Envision's document reader. So you can you know, maybe save the output to the library. You would be able to go ahead and uh, you know, share it as a, or save it, export it as a TXT file and so on. And as we keep bringing more improvements to the reader, it definitely is gonna improve the Envision it experience as well. And the last update, that came out in June uh, you know, for Android uh, in the month of June was the new Find tab. So this is a tab that was requested a lot by the users. So uh, people who were using the iOS app when they, they came to Android, uh, they wanted us to also bring the really awesome Find tab uh, on onto Android as well. So now in the Find tab, you'd be able to find people. So you, if you have saved faces of friends and family with the Envision Android app you'll be able to find them uh, using the find people feature. The find objects basically helps you detect different objects in the surroundings and beeps when they're in the frame. And this is also now available on Android. And we're gonna keep adding more types of uh, you know, objects to be able to be recognized by the Envision app. So if you guys have any feedback around that, please do share it with us. Now on the iOS app, uh, we brought the same Envision it extension to iOS as well. So now when you share, images from say Twitter or WhatsApp, it automatically opens up the Envision document reader and you'll be able to read the output uh, using the Envision app or explore the output with the Envision app. So that's one big change that we brought. We also dramatically improved column detection 
on the iOS app. So we're using some really interesting iOS technologies that came out in the, in the last one year to make the column detection a lot more uh, accurate. And it now works with a lot more different types of documents than what it used to before. And we have a whole bunch of things planned for the next um, three months. But I want to touch upon one particular area, which I think is going to be really interesting for all of you, which is document reading with Envision. In the next three months, we're going to bring out a much better scanning and picture taking option with Envision. So you'll be able to go ahead and have Envision tell you which, uh, how to move your phone in order to capture the document in the best possible way uh, on both iOS and Android. We're also going to bring some really interesting features that you guys have been asking for, for document exploration, such as making bookmarks, uh, searching the document, and you know maybe even something like smart search where you'll be able to go ahead and say, okay, Envision, show me all the phone numbers in the document or show me addresses in the document. So we're gonna put a lot more effort into improving document reading with Envision using the Envision apps on iOS and Android the next three months. Of course, we always have surprises up our sleeve, so you have to stay tuned uh, for more on our side. Now, coming to glasses. We launched the Envision glasses in October of 2020, and it's got really amazing reception from the community as a whole. And for that, I'd like to thank you on behalf of the Envision team for supporting the Envision glasses. Um, the last three months has been really busy for us. Um, what, firstly, we worked on improving personalization and customization options with Envision. So now with the Envision glasses, you can choose the voice that you want the, the Envision uh, th that you want to use with Envision. And you can also do things like changing the time format. So if you're someone who likes 12 hour time or 24 hour time, you'll be able to change that easily with the Envision glasses. We also added a really big personalization um, feature, which is the volume shortcut. So now you'd be able to go ahead and adjust your volume from anywhere within the Envision glasses easily. And our most recent absent uh, selecting languages for instant text. So if you want instant text to only speak or, or read out particular languages, you can go ahead and select which languages you want instant text to recognize, and it's going to be able to pick that up. What we also did was make Envision glasses a lot more global. So we added new languages like Norwegian. And, inter and another interesting thing is we also added more distributors to the Envision uh, to, to, uh, across the world for Envision glasses. So we now have 18 distributors globally, all the way from Toronto to Tokyo. So Envision glasses is available in more countries and is open to a lot more personalization uh, than before. Another big feature that a lot of you have been asking for is light detection. So now using the Envision glasses, you can go ahead and detect the ambient light in your surroundings and have Envision give you back the output either as you know beeps or we also have like a pitch where you you know uh, we also have an option where you can get the output in the form of a pitch so if there is higher light in uh, more light in the room or in the surroundings and vision is going to come across uh, or give you a, a much you know higher pitch or higher frequency of beeps or if there is lower light it's going to give you um, lower frequency of beeps and so on and we're going to also roll this out to more features um, within the envision app itself so our big focus for the next three months with uh, regards to the Envision glasses is going to be an improved text reading experience, especially for users who have been asking for the same awesome edge detection feature that we have on the app to come onto the glasses as well. So it's going to be easier for you to orient a document uh, before taking a picture and uh, get like all of the document in the frame and so on. So we're working on that. Uh, we're doing a lot of active research in that area and we hope to bring that to you in the next three months. We're also going to be making Envision a lot more, the Envision glasses a lot more personal and a lot more efficient. So we're going to be adding things like quick access where you can go ahead and set up your favorite uh, features, line them up, uh, you know, in such a way that you can easily access them. And so we're going to make sure that the Envision glasses that you have is going to be super personalized for you and your habits, and uh, you'll be able to go ahead and you know effectively use it more easier going forward. So these are all the product updates. Um, I also have a few business updates to share with you. Um, 
what we're looking for at Envision is to constantly expand the, the number of applications, the number of partnerships that you know we have, uh, and to bring more applications to the Envision classes apart from what Envision offers. So what we're looking for right now is we're looking for more third-party apps that we can integrate the Envision classes with. So if you have any ideas around what kind of apps would you like to see on the Envision classes, apart from the awesome suite of tools that Envision offers you, you will have a chance to give us your opinion when we open this up to questions. We're also looking for service and infrastructure providers across the world uh, who'd be willing to go ahead and uh, bring Envision classes to more people uh, in their countries going forward. Another thing is, you know, all of this great stuff requires great people. And at Envision, we're also looking to grow our team. So we're hiring across the board, especially software engineers. So if you're someone who wants to work with the Envision team, or if you know someone who wants, who you think will be a great fit for the Envision team, please ask them to reach out to us. So you can check all our available career openings at www.letsenvision.com slash careers. So when you go there, you'll see all the available openings. Please uh, you know, come forward if you think you're gonna be a great fit for the team or feel free to share the fact that Envision is hiring and hiring actively, especially for software developers. So that's a quick in, um, introduction and quick updates from my side and all the stuff that came and that's coming out uh, and a few business updates as well. And so now I'm gonna open, uh, open this up for more questions. I have my teammates, uh, Karthik, Farkan and Anisha with me. So feel free to fire your questions and we're all here to answer them. Uh, the way you can ask questions is by raising your hand. So if you're on uh, Clubhouse or Twitter spaces or on Zoom participating, please feel free to raise your hands and I'll bring you, uh, you know, uh, um, and have you have a chat with us. Right, so I'm gonna bring Sagar Varma from Clubhouse uh, on board. Hi Sagar. Hello, Sagar. Hi. Hi. Hello there. How's it going? Good, good. How's it going? Good, good, good. First of all, it's a pleasure to be a part of the Envision uh, community. You know, I'm a, a subscriber of the Envision application. And although I've not bought the glasses, but uh, there are a few things I want to... Um, first of all, can we um, make suggestions? Yeah, or sure. This is just a question on air. No, no. I mean, this Fine. is uh, like, you know, we're open to suggestions, questions, feedback. So feel free to give us your thoughts. Okay, sure. Thanks for that. Uh, much appreciated. Now, the question is, first of all, I'll go towards the um, question because I had reported this in the past mm -hmm. um, to the Envision team, I probably to um, the others as well. The field of view report is inaccurate. So basically, it keeps on saying edges, um, adjust edges, despite having the whole page aligned. Mm -hmm. um, how I can reproduce this because I had my sighted colleague with me and, and they were able to align it. But despite then, it was speaking the obvious that, um, which it shouldn't speak that the page is not aligned properly. Mm -hmm. um, now, I think this is a glitch in the app and uh, is that being looked at? That's my question. I had reported that in the past as well. Sure. So Sagar, I just wanted to confirm if this is happening for you on iOS or on Android. iOS. Yeah, sure. So this is something that we are working on. Uh, it's not a very easy problem to solve and we need, and we really want to solve it well. So this is like I mentioned, you know, in the initial updates that this is something that we are going to definitely be working on and bringing to the iOS app in the next three months. So yes, it is an active area of research for us and we are well, uh, we are aware that it might not always work well. So we're trying to make it work uh, as perfectly as possible. And we're hoping to bring this out in the next three months. Okay, thanks for that. And the second thing, which I also had reported, mm -hmm. which is most needed, and I believe I did get the response, but it's good to, you know, have a verbal to see um, how well this would be addressed as well. Um, let's say if um, one has scanned a physical document, mm -hmm. all right? Now, we all know that we can save the um, text with the description after the text has been extracted. Hmm. The question is, if in case, per se, we obviously don't want to keep it to ourselves only, we want to send it to the others as a sighted individual. Mm -hmm. So 
the format does get lost. So instead of keeping the original file, it's like, it, like it doesn't keep it. So is there a way we can maintain the original documentation which had which we had scanned mm. um, alongside the text description? Because sometimes there are images which some people do not understand um, with the text. You see where I'm trying to get? Yeah, no, I'm, I understand. So right now, uh, what we do have is exporting a file as a TXT in, in the TXT format, which doesn't, which might not say, you know, really, um, I would say, yeah, read. yeah, yeah. So I was wondering what kind of format uh, would you like to be able to export the document in? So basically, what I'm trying to say is, it's like, let's say I've scanned um, an Excel sheet, all right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that has a lot of text and it has some diagrams as well. Like, a, okay, the other example could be someone's, someone's medical report. Mm. And one has scanned that um, using a physical copy. Mm. So you want to send this to your doctor, you wouldn't just send a text because um, that text will not be understood. Um, you know, we want to send the original document which has been scanned. Um, so I want the ability so it can retain the original format or the original diagram, whichever is okay. being scanned, rather than saving it as a TXT and sending it to them. You know, because sometimes sighted individuals don't understand using text. It's Got good, it. obviously, but then uh, the facility should be there hmm. to save it as the original. Event. Because there's other applications um, can retain the original format. Got but, it. Um, it should be available in, in vision because I had reported this in the past as well. Yeah, no, I, I think that's a good suggestion. And it's something that, you know, we are looking at as well, because there are two options that are available to us that users have reported in the past, one being, you know, an accessible PDF, and other being a HTML format. So we're looking at these two as possible export options in the future to, you know, try and retain the formatting of the original document as much as possible. So yes, thank you for the feedback. Well noted. And we're definitely going to work on it and get back to you when we have, uh, when we come out with a, with a feature. I'll let other users chime in now. That's All right. Fine. Thank you That's so much, good. Sagar. Cheers. Cheers. Right. So we have our next uh, participant, Mohammed. No, sorry. He's going to be, he's raised his hand on Zoom. So we're bringing him online at the moment. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi, Mahmoud. Hi. How are you today? Good, good. How are you doing? Uh, thanks. Uh, I'm Mahmoud from Iran. Um, me and my wife use Envision. Uh, this is very, very good app. And I suggest uh, to all my friends and uh, I can buy for um, some friends. I can buy for 10 person in Iran mm -hmm. and use this app. Um, I'm happy because I translate this app today to my language in crowding mm -hmm. and you can please add uh, and change Persian language uh, for next update. Sure. I think uh, I'd like to bring in Farkan, our product designer, to answer that uh, for you, Mahmoud. Yeah. Hi, Mahmoud. Uh, my name is Farkan. I'm the product designer uh, here at Envision. Um, I think you're talking about the localizations on Crowdin. Uh, so how it works is indeed on Crowdin, you can uh, put your local translations for Persian. Uh, so okay. if you're reading something is wrong because some of the strings are auto translated, so much uh, machine translated actually. Uh, if yeah. some strings are wrong, uh, wrong, you can add them to Crowdin, and uh, with every new update, uh, so with the new update, uh, you can see those strings changed in the app. Does yeah, I translated all the strings uh, into my language. Yes. Um, and uh, uh, if you can, please encrypt. Uh, Android app uh, for tracking because uh, trackers uh, track all version of 
and vision. If you can, please encrypt it. Uh, I know uh, when uh, we send uh, 1000 picture to Envision, you must uh, uh, $1.5 send to Google. I know it. Uh, and uh, if you can, please, uh, when I want to read PDF, we talk back and e speak. Sometimes Envision jump uh, some lines and um, repeat first line. Got it. I write, I write this uh, in feedback form in Envision. But uh, when I test, don't fix. Okay. Um, sure, Mahmoud. I think, uh, you know, firstly, yes, we are working on, uh, you know, trying to encrypt the app so that people don't crack it. Uh, but one thing to let, you know, people who are, you know, using cracked versions of the app know that it's never secure to use cracked versions of the app, because since they're not made by Envision, uh, sometimes they can add some viruses in the cracked version, and that can really affect the person who's using the cracked version uh, a lot. So it's recommended to not use it. So if you know people in the community using cracked versions, versions, let them know that it's not safe and Envision is not responsible for anything that happens when they use crack. Yeah, code. I say to uh, people, but some people use crack. Yeah. No, we're definitely going to add a lot more security in the future uh, to prevent people from cracking very, the app. Very good. Uh, and also about the part where the lines are being skipped. So that is a thing that we are, that's a, a, a bug that has been reported, especially when people are trying to scan like, you know, Arabic or Persian. So we are working on it. Uh, it is not an easy uh, issue to fix for us, but we're definitely working on it and we will uh, definitely incorporate a fix in the future. Thanks. Uh, but uh, when I read EPUB and other format, I have this problem. Okay. Yeah, no, I think it is a problem uh, that we're, with, we're seeing with some languages. So we will definitely look into it and fix it with a future update because it is important that yeah, no lines get skipped at the time of reading. So yes, yeah, we thanks have... very much. Thank you and so much. Can I ask a question? Sure. Uh, sorry, uh, when you give summer discount, <laughs> because uh, I want uh, subscribe. Yeah, so we... We don't have like a date uh, yet, but uh, please stay tuned. And uh, if we have a discount coming, uh, which might be very soon, uh, we'll definitely let you know about that via email. We, we'll make sure that you know about it. When a discount comes, we'll make sure that you know about it, right? Oh, well, thanks. Thanks very much. All right, sure. Thank you have so much. Bye-bye. Nice Bye. Right. So I have another uh, Envisioner from uh, Clubhouse joining us. Hi. Hi, Mohammed. Okay, so I think Mohammed is, uh, is having a, a bit of a difficulty. Uh, we have Vignesh joining us uh, from Clubhouse again. Okay, this. Okay, so we have Harsha, finally. Hey, guys, good evening. Hi, Harsha, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. How about you? Awesome, awesome. So, Karthik, I'm really proud of your app. So, uh, actually, I also participated while uh, you were starting the app and uh, researching, no? Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you so much for so, supporting us, Harsha. Yes, I bought that app also. And now, no, so, uh, just I want to uh, give some few suggestions, mm -hmm. uh, actually. Mm -hmm. So, Karthik, actually, daily, in the daily life, we uh, read newspapers and all. Okay. So, and uh, the newspaper, see, uh, in the digital newspaper also, like, the, the, it will come, like, the left uh, side one part and right side one part will come and all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct, uh, correct. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what the Envision does is, mm -hmm. the Envision treats it uh, as, an, uh, as a uh, single line. Mm-hmm. 
instead of uh, the multiple splitting as multiple things and all mm-hmm. so is it possible to uh, split it those things and artificially by recognizing it artificial intelligence and all yeah sure so there it is actually um, so you can if you have column detection turned on within the envision app it will do some form of column detection but one thing to note is that newspapers are actually very very uh, it's very tricky to read newspapers the way it is right now because you know if you look at it, if you see in the newspaper all the articles are very close to each other right all the text is very close to each other so it becomes difficult to identify it but this okay. is an area that we are very very actively working on we know a lot of you read newspapers and lot of us lot of the people from the community have sent us samples of newspapers they are trying to read so yes newspapers are going to be eventually recognized by envision it's a very active area of research and when it okay. when we do bring the capability out we will definitely let you know and uh... i want to report one more accessibility issue kachi kachi mm-hmm. so we have the talk back is also yeah. so if you i uh, means if the app recognizes uh, some text and if it starts to i means if it starts to play, uh, play in the format of uh, text to speech immediately after it recognizes mm-hmm. it uh, interrupts our uh, user uh, or whatever uh, the talk back and all and uh, it's uh, not a good uh, user experience by the way got it so so please uh, uh, Okay, I request you to avoid that. Means uh, uh, pull out that. Uh, means uh, don't give that feature in the next version. By the way, it's, uh, you give like a uh, you, you user should play explicitly like that. Okay, so you know we have an option to actually turn that off already within the app, uh, okay. Harsha. So if you hmm. go to the document reader the next time, there is a settings hmm. option in the document reader, and when you click on it, okay. you'll be able to turn off autoplay. So when you turn off autoplay, the next time you scan the document, you have to explicitly press play for it to actually start playing. So you can try that, and if you have any questions about how to use it, you can reach out to us on support, and we'll sure, definitely sure, help sure. you. And last uh, question from my side. Sure. So uh, since we like uh, we are using some kind of other OCR software to uh, preserve the document uh, semantics and all, like uh, APB by Find Reader and all. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, It since it's cost a lot from uh, than your app, so we are using that version of that. Sorry for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so yeah, I anyways I bought your app. Mm-hmm. So uh, what I what my request is, so can you able to preserve the semantics of the document? For example, if there is a heading, mm-hmm. so can can you means uh, can you able to preserve the semantics like in the word format like uh, heading level one, heading level two, or uh, so whether it's a table, uh, can you? Uh, able to give it in the table format for example like that yeah yes harsha for sure i think uh, like i said you know uh, for newspapers and preserving semantics that's a big big uh, you know focus for us at envision and a lot of research is going into that at the moment so in the in the near future we hope to bring out uh, heading detection we already have column detection so if you're reading magazine articles or books that have columns it will already recognize that if you have it turned on we are working okay. on heading detection we're also working on table detection so yes these are all areas of research and we will definitely bring that out uh, in the near future and and sure so i, I want i uh, lastly i request you to focus on some mathematical symbols also because uh, i'm a computer student uh, studying okay. a masters at computer physician okay uh, always uh, like uh, my lectures give me the mathematical content and all so some okay. uh, uh, like uh, maths content and all so the envision uh, is uh, not good in that actually recognizing okay. mathematical content Okay, sure. No, I think we'll, I'll make a note of it, and uh, we'll definitely discuss it with the team, and uh, you know, bring you on board uh, and and discuss and 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 let you know once that feature is in beta, so you can test it and let us know. Uh, thank you, Garcia. That's thank- all from my end. Yes, thank you so much, Have Harsha. Nice Have a nice yeah. day. Yeah, you too. Yes. Uh, hello, Uh, hi, hi, Vignesh. Yes. So we have another uh, 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 user, Vignesh, on Clubhouse. Yeah. Good evening. Uh, the thing is, actually, I cannot see, uh, you know, even light also. Okay. Okay. The thing is, how Envision Glass will work? Uh, like you were bringing on the October, like that you were telling, right? Hmm. Actually, I am also Envision subscriber. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm paying that. Uh, mm. So how it works? Actually, exactly, I don't know. So can you give some, at least one uh, bit of that information? 
Sure. So I'd like to bring in uh, Karthik, who is uh, the chief designer. So yes, go on. Yes. Hi, Vignesh. Uh, so the way uh, Envision a glasses it works is so there is you know it is entirely an audio first you know device. So there is no sort of a you know like a screen or a display that you interact with. So you interact with the glasses exactly how you would interact with a talkback or with a voiceover. So it basically uh, is. a wearable a camera uh, that you can actually you know, have on your face and on the side of uh, it is a touch pad so you are basically interacting with the interface and uh, all of the like menu of the glasses with a touch pad and you're using the camera that is on the glasses to take images so what it allows you to do is it allows you to be able to you know like to capture images and to actually you know sort of have everything around you spoken out but uh, without having to hold a phone in your hand so if you're out and about and and if you want to uh, uh, like read something or if you want to do any of the activities that you're currently doing with envision app but in a in a more of a hands free way in that uh, your know, instance the glasses are the most are helpful at the moment okay okay like uh, see if i uh, actually i want to buy that i plan for buy that mm-hmm. there is a option for two you were given some two glasses right yeah some some uh, something i saw actually some two glasses yes uh, that's correct so which one is suitable for me uh so pair the glasses uh, actually I'm to- i said no i yeah. totally uh, totally i'm totally blind okay so which uh, uh, this glass will suit actually okay so if you don't have any sort of a, of a prescription or like lenses and if and if you're if you are not wearing any sort of you know like tinted or lenses or anything of you know like those sort then i would recommend just uh, ordering the standard a titanium or like frame uh with the standard a titanium a frame you get like a lightweight you know a titanium a, a sort of like frame that will you know that will uh, be sort of like the ideal option for you because uh, it's not that heavy and also it looks pretty uh, like nice the only thing is it doesn't have any sort of uh, like a place to put a lens on uh, the other option the smith optics frame that we only uh, you, uh, you recommend for people uh, who have a low vision so you know like who have some sort of a prescription a uh, lenses that they need to wear so only for for your know, those people do we recommend to purchase the additional smith optics uh, frames as an accessory but if you don't need any sort of prescription I would say the like lenses. I would advise you to just go for the standard, your know, titanium frame. Oh, standard titanium frame. Yes. Oh, okay. thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks a lot. All right, Vignesh. Thank you for coming on. Yeah. Right. So we're going to pick our next uh, visioner from Zoom. We're waiting for uh, Robert to come on to come online. so for uh, for everyone who okay is, yeah hi rob uh, sorry hello uh, i actually have a pair of the titanium framed mm-hmm. uh, gla- glasses and uh, i will uh, add to your comment there uh while i really can't see at all my eyes are sensitive to bright light and i probably should have got the smith glasses to put uh, dark glasses in so for some people that may be a, a consideration uh what i was going to ask is is there a hard case i could purchase to carry the uh glasses around that i f- find they're too big for any of my old glasses cases and they're quite awkward when folded Sure. So I think uh, I'd like to have the other uh, Karthik uh, answer that. Uh, yes. Hi, Robert. Uh, I would like to know uh, when did you order uh, like uh, like a pair of Envision uh, glasses? Uh, it was uh, a few months ago. Okay. And did you order it your uh, directly from us on on the on our like website or did you order it through a distributor? I I think I ordered it through a distributor. I'm I'm sorry. I, I have. I I I I was really pleased to be able to get through the website I used and I can't actually remember. I'm pretty sure it came from a distributor though. Okay. 
because there is actually a, you're like a hard case so and so uh, you're, you're everybody who did make a purchase of the glasses we actually they shipped them all uh, you know like you're like a free or uh, a hard case of the glasses mm -hmm. so we would be happy to you know, do the same with you um uh, do you by chance i remember you know which distributor you ordered from or I'm so i could probably look it up uh, all right. but uh, uh, as i said I, i'm i'm not very good at memorizing stuff like that i'm actually dyslexic as well well right. as blind so so my uh uh then let's take it offline uh, i would say uh, robert so if you could yeah. just to uh, like leave uh, like your contact information uh, in the you know, sort of like direct a message to us yeah. uh, i will uh, reach out to you directly and i will ensure that you have a hard case that is being shipped out to you thank you very much okay i'll Plus, see what I can do. All Thank right, you. I will. I will. I will. I will reach out to you in a direct, a direct message on Zoom itself. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, Robert. Thanks, Robert. Bye. Bye. -bye. Right, so we're having a few more people coming online uh, from Clubhouse. By the way, thank you so much all for uh, the amazing feedback that you guys have been giving us so far. It's, uh, I think it's totally worth doing an event like this and we're super, super happy with what we have. And uh, so continue to keep uh, you know, coming online, continue to keep sharing your feedback. Uh, we're all here to listen. So we, we're going to have uh, one from uh, Twitter Spaces. Hey, hey, this is Karthik. This is Rocky here. Right? Yeah, hi, Rocky. How are you doing? It's Karthik, yes. Hi, I am I'm doing very well, and I hope you guys are doing uh, very, uh, well as well. Uh, I, I must say I don't know much about Envision, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I particularly, my, I myself uh, do not have any disability as such. But oh. in the last 18 months or so, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm based in UK and I'm trying to actually teach a girl in India mm -hmm. who is partially blind. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, she basically, her school's closed and she has no help. So I was trying to help her via Zoom and all that. Mm -hmm. And I've been trying to actually see how I can help her. Uh, and in my research, I think I came across Envision and I started to follow it with you guys. And, and today I saw you guys going live so out of curiosity i was listening you guys are doing a great job looks like here i was my question is uh like somebody sitting like her in in in, in bihar jarkhand there hmm. uh can she try out these glasses how what how does it work i don't know i i know very little about envision so can you mind telling me a little bit more yeah sure thing so uh, i'll take your rocky um if it is you know like you have somebody in India, and if they have your you know, say no experience with assistive technology, uh, you know, you know, as much, I would you know, like, you know, recommend first starting off with the Envision app because that is more of a low barrier uh, approach to you know, you know, like the possibilities of Envision. Okay. So I would definitely start with that because Envision app is available on both iOS and Android. There is a subscription, you know, like to it, but it comes with a fourteen day, you know, like you know, of a free, I would say, like, like trial to it. So I think uh, I would recommend that you ask her to first install the Envision app and see if uh, you know, like, she's able to, uh, you know, like, start using the Envision app, uh, you know, like in order to, you know, like do all the visual recognition tasks that the app can do for us. Okay. Uh, and if the app is something that is proving, you know, like helpful to her, I think then. Uh, you know, like an ideal, a next step would be to, you know, like to go to the glasses. So maybe that's sort of the more uh, also, you know, like the cost effective a way of, you know, like, you know, like figuring out if this technology is something that would be suitable for her or not. Okay. And, and in, in, in India, we have like a distributor where she can see it, like, uh, uh, experience it, like apply out the glasses. For the glasses in India, we currently don't have a, a distributor. So uh, we don't uh, actually have a distributor in, in India at the moment. We are looking to arrange that uh, in the near uh, uh, like future. So maybe in a couple of, of, of like months, we might have a distributor. But as of now, uh, there isn't a distributor in, in, in India for the glasses. Okay. But 
but you ship to India if you want. Yes, we do ship to India for sure. Yeah. Okay. I I I last tried to experiment, and in the last eighteen months, I managed to teach us how to log in on Zoom and awesome. use computer and, and like how to use Word and things like that. But it's very hard work doing remotely. I can and imagine. I'm, I'm looking for tech, and looks like this tech can be useful. Uh, so I will I'll share this with her and thank you so much guys. All right, Rocky. And yeah, this is um, also you know like super uh, you know important for us. So if you do want to you know, reach out to us, uh, you know like our lines are always open. So you can just you know shoot us a DM, and we would also be super happy to help you and you know, support you in any way that we can, so that you are able to support her. Cool. Thank you so much. Guys. All right, Rocky. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Right, so we have Dinesh from uh, Clubhouse joining us. Uh, Dinesh, you might have to unmute yourself. Um. Right, Dinesh. Uh, yeah. Hello, hello. Yes, hello. Hi. Am I audible? Yes, yes, you're audible. Yeah, I am uh, uh, from India. Okay. And usually, I, I I scan the document in Hindi language except English. Mm hmm. Uh, send uh, after updating the software, I am uh, having uh, a message from Envision that you are trying to scan, uh, for example, Somali language, but uh, your TTS does not support. Uh, please change the TTS. Okay. But uh, the document uh, have not this type of language. Okay. Um. So there is so, and you're saying this is happening on Android after the last update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So I think we can. Uh, and and the language that of your phone is uh, is it in Hindi or is it in uh, English? English. Okay. So I think. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Go on. Uh, system language in English. Okay. But auto language detection is on in Envision. Okay. Yeah. No, that should be on because if you're trying to read a Hindi document and uh, you have automatic language detection on, uh, uh, it, only then will it be able to pick it up, pick up language uh, the other scripts correctly. Um, so this seems to be some sort of an issue uh, with the with the language or could be with the document. So what you can do is if you can reach out to us via support, I'm going to make sure to keep an eye uh, uh, open for your ticket. And as soon as we get your support request, I'm going to have the engineering team take a look at the issue and get back to you with a response. But I would like, I would like to say that uh, uh, in older version of Envision, okay. there was not such issue. Yeah, no, I think uh, uh, this, go on. Older means uh, before, uh, I, uh, before a lot of updates, uh, uh, for example, um, this uh, issue was, uh, I am having this issue uh, uh, for six months. Okay, okay. Six or seven months. So this issue that you're facing, you've been having it for the last six months? Yeah, six months. Uh, before okay. uh, six months, uh, uh, the document was uh, uh, being processed correctly. Okay, sure. So that's what I, I think if you can, after this call, if you can just go ahead and uh, write a simple uh, support message to us from within the app, like either a call request or a feedback message, I will uh, keep an eye out for your ticket. And as soon as it comes, I will, uh, you know, uh, check with the engineering team and get back to you. Okay, my second question is, uh, are you pl planning to launch Vision for a computer or not for desktop? So at the moment, uh, for the next, you know, the next three months, not, but definitely we are looking at the desktop uh, as an option. So if not the desktop, you'll at least, you know, try to come out with a web version that you can use on your browser. So that's definitely something we're looking at, uh, but not planned for the near future. And last but not least, uh, I would uh, uh, like to uh, see the Envision glasses before buying in India. Mm -hmm. So what can you do? Uh, Sure. Because a lot of persons uh, are waiting demonstration in India like me. Yeah, no, I think we are definitely uh, looking to find the right partners in India. And when we do find the right partners in India, we will de we'll let you know about it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dinesh. Have a great day. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Can I talk here? Yeah. Hi, Lewis. Oh, yeah. Hi, Lewis. Yeah, I'm 
And you know, as always, as always on the other meetings and, and such, I, I'm a I'm regular admission app user. <laughs> oh no, have the classes since I just lost two ruffles. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> but maybe on the next one in the future, I, I will win it. Um, so yes, as the, as the other part, I said, I mean, yeah, I want also that app on uh, that ambition app on desktop could be some kind of a uh, something of an, of an alternative of freedom scientific's open book or or other scanning and reading solution um as, as i'm reading this because i because mostly i you know i'm mostly a windows user i mm -hmm. uh, somehow i'm also learning to use linux and um and other operating systems like on the desktop but but, on Win but you're planning to do this only on windows as um as you told me uh, no, so w when we do come out with a desktop application or a web version, we'll make sure that it works across Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, so yes, like I mentioned, it's something that we are, you know, uh, very interestingly looking at uh, at Envision. So we might, uh, you know, when we do come out with a beta or a version that you know we can share with you guys, uh, we'll definitely let you know about it uh, as soon as possible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the, that's the only reason why I asked you because if, if there arrives, I, then I will try to translate the application since I, you know, I'm always a regular trans contributor to the, to the Envision project translation yeah. system. Thank you so much, Luis, but uh, we'll definitely let you know about it when that comes out. Thank you. Uh, don't worry. And another question, another question. Um, mm -hmm. well, um, I, know, I know I kind of a little bit lost the, the two offers for the Vision because I, I know it, but since, since I, I don't have to purchase it, with very special days, I mean, or occasions, for example, on my birthday, which is November 20th, I don't know if there could be, a, you know, a prize, um, you know, some kind of sale or, or um, how do you call this, um, some kind of cutting off on the, on the prices, for example, on, on Inversion Bells and, and or other products. For example, if I want to buy the Inversion Bells at, at a more cheaper price than the, than the regular price that, I, that are, as I recall, $3,000 or dollars, which I'm already, which I have, you know, try to earn to sell something because I'm trying to, I know how to purchase it, but I want, uh, but I know how to sell most of my other things. Sure. No, I think uh, like uh, like I mentioned earlier as well that you know we are uh, currently not having uh, you know we're not currently looking at discounts uh, or anything or say or sale of that sort for the Envision glasses. But when if we do have one, uh, you will definitely know about it. We're gonna do shout out from all the rooftops uh, and we we'll let you know about it uh, when we do have a sale, but not at the moment. Yeah, the yeah, the reason that they're asking also is because I, because I, I, you know, I'm waiting always for the, for the, for those ambition glasses, for the distributors that are around the, my region or my country, because, because as I know, as I know of, there's no, there's no ambition distributors in Latin America. So we can, uh, so even, even if I can, or even the other guys that I, uh, other person, um, in Southern, I don't know about this company could collaborate with me together and meet the, meet the expectation if, if, if they can sell, uh, if they are wishing to my country, so, so, the, uh, so I, I cannot, you know, wait for them to come up in a few days and just in a few hours. Yeah, no, I think uh, we will definitely let you know when we do have, you know, distributors, uh, more distributors in Latin America, um, and you'll be the first one to know, like, like I said. No, thanks, thanks, thanks for all that. Thanks for all my, uh, for all my thoughts. Even, you know, even we have many months that we didn't met, but, 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 but thanks for my support that, that we have in a lot of months. I, I'm using it right now for uh, me for scanning the, the, the Windows uh, screen. Mm -hmm. when, it, when it's upgrading and, and the, when, when I try to install another operating system because it doesn't read correctly the screen or because it doesn't, I don't hear any sound, so I will use Envision, the Envision app to scan the entire screen whenever it's whenever it's available, whenever some text is posted. Yeah, but thank you so much for using the app and uh, thanks for being part of the community. Thank you. Yeah, I hope I will. I... All right, can I speak now? Uh, hi, hi, uh, Mah Mohamed. Mahmoud. Mahmoud, yes, hi, Mahmoud. Uh, I have a problem for uh, license. Can I discuss now with you? Um, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, first, uh, I want from you to be patient because my English language is not good enough. Okay. And I have. Uh, I hope from you to speak slowly to become uh, to to able understand you. Okay. Yeah. No problem, Mahmoud. Okay. Um, uh, I have purchased a vision in uh, uh, August offer uh, mm -hmm. uh, 2019, mm -hmm. August 2019. Uh, and I have 
working on my account for a year and a half year uh, ago. And suddenly, uh, license has been uh, uh, stopped working. Uh, when I try to sign in, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Envision tell me uh, Google sign in field. When I try to sign in from Google, Envision tell me Google mm -hmm. sign in field. When I, have, when I try to sign in using email uh, and the password, uh, Envision tell me your account has been disabled by administrator. Please okay. contact the administrator. And I have uh, discussed this problem more than one month on Messenger, and I have didn't receive any uh, solve for this problem. Uh, for this problem. Okay. Uh, so Mahmoud, I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know double check your email. So maybe after this, uh, or maybe if you can give me your email, I can make a note of it. Or what I would do is, um, it's best if you can go ahead and um, if you can share your email with us at support at Let's Envision, if you can write to us at support at Let's Envision from the email that you were using Envision with, I can try to go ahead and check what the issue is. But let me give you, let me try to help you as to why this could be happening. So what we discovered sometime back was that, that some users were sharing their account with other people and uh, what that led to was uh, you know like like that led to some accounts being banned which had like very high number of users using that particular account so that might have been the case so if that if that was happening with people, what we mentioned was we told them to go ahead and stop using the old account, create a new account, and then we would authorize that new account and allow them to use the app. So that was the uh, that was what we were doing with people who were having uh, their accounts, you know, uh, banned by the administrator. So this is a security uh, measure that we put in place so that people don't share their account with other people, right? So. I didn't have shared my, uh, yeah, no. my account. I did. I, I I signed in from my account mm -hmm. on my device. This is all my device. I have ten devices. Okay. okay. I didn't share on on any on any uh, uh, to any people. Okay. So you're saying that you were using Envision on ten devices? Yes, ten devices. And I have asking uh, uh, Envision team using one a call. I have requested one a call. I have asking them before purchasing Envision, and I have asked asked about this uh, this uh, order, uh, this request, and they uh, confirm this no problem if this device is or is owned to you. you yeah, no. Me? Yeah, so there is you know there is one particular so you can use Envision on as many devices as you'd like, as long as you are using the, uh, you know, as long as you're using the app with the same Apple ID or Google ID with which you made the purchase, uh, you know, from. So what I would do is, I think this, I think we need to discuss this in a bit more detail. So I will say, please write to us from support at letsenvision.com. I have made a note of your, uh, of your, of your issue. And when you write to us, I'll make sure to check that particular ticket and I will respond to you as soon as possible. Okay, but, but uh, this is taking a long time to respond. Yeah, no, I will definitely look into it. Uh, I'm sorry if there was a delay in getting back to you, but uh, I've made a note of it right now and I'll make sure that if you write to us at support at letsenvision.com, I will check it and let you know. Okay, I have. I hope to, uh, I hope to solve this problem and to re-enable my account because it is... Uh, uh, um, I have one uh, uh, one account. I didn't have any account uh, without this. Sure. Okay. I have no. one account. I mean, I want to say I have one account uh, using uh, using Envision on it. Yeah. No. No problem, Mahmoud. Uh, we will get back to you and uh, we'll take it offline. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Right, so we have a question from uh, Chela Robles uh, who asked us on Zoom. So she's, he or she said, uh, have you guys considered teaming up with Ira and Be My Eyes to join the Envision platform? Also, what is the wide, wide field of view of the camera on the glasses? I'm so impressed with the call and ally feature, tried it a couple of days ago and I'm looking forward to using it more. Thinking of using it to learn a trumpet piece of music with my trumpet buddy. Plan and learning moose the mooch, keep up the great work. All right, uh, I'd like to have Farkan from our design team answer that question. So Farkan, do you want to take it? Uh, hi, Sheila. Uh, this is Farkan again here from the product design team for the Envision Glasses. 
Uh, I'm just rereading the question again. Teaming up with Ira and Bima Eyes. Uh, as of now, we're, uh, we haven't uh, teamed up with them, uh, but we do definitely consider to team up with Ira and Bima Eyes. So we are in conversation with both of the companies. Uh, the wild field, uh, field of view camera uh, is about 120 uh, out of my head. Uh, so it's quite wide, uh, which also means that you can uh, read a lot of text. And especially for the ally, it is really handy uh, because on the phone, normally uh, there's a vertical uh, image because you're holding your phone straight and on the glass, it's already horizontal. And secondly, also because the wide angle feel and the fact that it's on your head, uh, it means that it's much easier for someone else to help you and guide you. So if you're looking to the right, they're actually seeing that you're looking at, to the right. Uh, and that is really uh, helpful for, uh, for the glasses with the um, field of view of the camera. Um, I'm reading the rest of the comments and I think it's all very nice. Uh, thank you a lot. I hope that answered your uh, question. Awesome. You know, we, we keep seeing such unique uses of the call ally feature that it's, uh, it's really interesting. So if you guys have any really interesting use cases like Chela has uh, for the call ally feature, let us know. Uh, we'd like to know more about it. Right, so we have Varsha uh, from Zoom reaching out to us. Hi, Hi Varsha. Hi, Varsha. Um. I'm calling from Aachen. I'm a master's student and uh, I haven't actually used Envision products, but um, I happen to follow uh, your company in LinkedIn. I have been following you for like quite some time and uh, I'm really uh, captivated by the technology and also the design of the glasses. So I have a question regarding the technology of the Envision glasses. So you had mentioned that you have a camera and it can like uh, take photos, but uh, is it like uh, detecting objects uh, in the surroundings like in a real time? Mm -hmm. So the glasses actually are capable of doing both. You know, there are some features, you know, you, that uses a real time video feed to detect or recognize objects in the frame. And then there are some features that require taking you know, a photo. So for example, if you're using something like instant text, which you know, uh, reads short pieces of text around you, it works on a video feed. So the AI basically just looks at every single frame, tries to understand what's the text in that frame and then speak it out to you. Whereas if you're doing something like describe scene and it works based on images, you know, the user explicitly takes an image and then we process that image and you know, extract the caption from the image and then speak it out to the user, right? So there are the, the glasses are capable of doing both just like what the app does. Okay, um, because um, I was wondering like, um, if somebody uh, is using the glass and uh, they want to like uh, maybe walk on the street. So uh, will the glasses be like uh, relaying real time information about say the obstacles or anything unusual or something that's there on the path? Uh, not exactly obstacles, but you know, there are a lot of users of the Envision glasses that use this really interesting feature called explore, right? So what the explore mode does is that it just speaks out everything that's in front of you. So if you're wearing the Envision glasses, putting on the explore mode and then walking outside, it starts to say, okay, uh, it, it starts to say chair or if it encounter, encounters a person, it, it just keeps speaking out whatever it sees, whatever it's capable of detecting. So that is a feature that a lot of people tend to use uh, on the app and the glasses, right? So, yeah. Okay, uh, I asked this question because uh, I think the technology is like very close to autonomous driving, maybe like if you uh, are on the street and navigating, so I just wanted to know like uh, the technology that was being used. And also another question is like, uh, how good are the glasses, uh, like the performance of the glasses when it's uh, not so bright? So maybe like if you're in a dark setting or something like that? Yeah, so to answer your first question, yes, it is 
pretty uh, so it uses this it uses similar fundamentals to autonomous driving uh, in fact we have a really interesting project called autonomous walking going on at envision uh, at the moment where we are trying to you know see if there is an overlap between the technologies and how we can bring design and that together to make it happen um and to answer your question about low light so the glasses one of the features that we're working on right now is to be able to tell the user if there is, uh, you know, um, what the what the state of light is in the room uh, before they go ahead and say try to scan a document or try to do uh, detect objects and things like that, right? So the glasses are capable of understanding if there is enough light for you know it to basically run its recognition algorithms uh, before it uh, before it runs, right? So it, it is capable of doing that, and we're going to be bringing that to the glasses soon. Okay, thank you. Uh, one follow up question from the answer that you just gave me now you said you're uh, working on something like autonomous walking. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, is it only going to be using a camera or are you going to employ uh, things like uh, millimeter wave technology, perhaps like a radar or lidar or something like that? Um, so it's something that, you know, pretty, it's still pretty early stage. So we have not really zeroed in, uh, we're definitely, definitely exploring, you know, just a camera and, you know, sensor fusion and things like that. So we're exploring different options. It's still quite early stage because it's a research project. And, uh, as in when, you know, we, as in when that develops, we'll definitely, you know, talk about it on LinkedIn and other places. All right. Thank you so much. And, uh, great work guys. Yeah. Thank you so much, Varsha. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Um, okay, uh, so uh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. And also, uh, you know, since Varsha was just uh, coming on and talking about some of the technical stuff that we're doing, uh, I'd like to let you guys all know that, you know, Envision is hiring. Uh, we're actively looking uh, for people uh, with a software background and so and design and so on. We're looking for people across the board, actually. So please visit letsenvision.com slash careers uh, to see what the openings are. And uh, we would love to have people, uh, motivated folks who are interested in solving these problems join us because uh, there's some amazing work that we're doing and we'd love to have more people join us in, in bringing this to more uh, people in our community. So um, that's about it uh, from us today at Team Envision. Uh, we are really, really happy doing this event and uh, we hope that uh, we were able to get on board, as, uh, get, get in touch with as many of you as possible. But if you still want to get in touch with us, you know where to find us. Uh, you can write to us from within the app. Uh, you can either request a call, send us a feedback, uh, or you can also write to us at uh, support at letsenvision.com and uh, we'll go ahead and try to get, get to you as soon as possible. So, or you can always reach out to us uh, on socials. So follow us on socials, on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, on LinkedIn, uh, and so on. And we'd love to hear from you. So thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we hope to be back with another town hall update three months down the line, hopefully with some exciting work under our belt uh, and with some, some more exciting stuff to talk to you about. Thank you. Have a great day and uh, stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye.